We all know what the phrase having a senior moment means, but why blame it on the senior years when we have those forgettable moments at any age, every day? However, through regular exercise, whether walking, jogging, even yoga is great for you. Missy White's yoga classes in Chatham. Yoga just keeps you focused and in shape and you should all really try it. Also, what we eat affects our brain's performance. We'll give you some information on good ways to improve your memory. Do not forget, proper nutrition will give you brain power to think faster, be more active, and get better organized. Just by adding some foods we use today to your diet will really help to keep your memory in good condition, along with helping your brain to function at its full capacity. Then, you won't forget where you left your spouse. Stick around, Chef Rispoli and I have got some super power foods for your memory and we'll guarantee you'll remember them. Hello, welcome back to Chef's Secrets. I'm Teresa De Rosa. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you of my new series of Chef's Secrets, which started within the past few weeks with new adventures and hidden gems I've been finding. Today, I'm in one of those hidden gems. I want to introduce you to an amazing French bistro in South Wellfleet, where you can find any fresh baked specialty breads, pastries, and or dine in their charming bistro. I'm here at PB Boulangerie and Bistro where the brilliant chef Philippe Rispoli will create some amazing dishes revealing secret French recipes. I'll provide you with affordable substitutions along with some important research information on the medicinal value of the ingredients to help with your memory because we all know we have those senior moments sometimes. Let me introduce you to Chef Rispoli. Thank you, Chef, for having us. Thank you, Teresa, for coming at PV Boulangerie Bistro today. You're very welcome. Now, this seems to be the perfect location that you found here. It seems like a little bistro that sits in the south of France. How did you find this location? I find the location in December 2009. It's been a whole clam shack, and as you transform that to a boulangerie and bistro, like a feel of neighborhood bistro, it's like I want to open something in in Cape Cod, about like a feel of home and like neighborhood, neighborhood oh, sure. bistro. Absolutely. And it's so charming. It really is charming here. Now, you have a very interesting history from learning your expertise in the culinary capital of France in Lyon. Then you moved to the MGM mansion in Wynn yes. in Las Vegas. It's quite a difference from the Cape Cod culture. Yes, for sure. I moved, I moved here in the United States like 20 years ago. I started in New York City for Chef Daniel Boulou. And after from Daniel Bully, New York City, I moved to Las Vegas, and in Las Vegas, I moved to Cape Cod. And they must I love, love you here. Yeah, I love the region, and I love the product, and, you know, product, they're fantastic. The fish is fantastic, as you're having some local vegetable, is really, for a chef, is really something where is real. French cuisine is one of the most beautiful and diverse in the world. In fact, the French are renowned for their culinary ta talents. You bring a bit of European cuisine to Cape Cod. Your guests seem to be very happy. Every time I go by here, there's a line out the door. Yes, yes, there's a line out the door. Everything that you do in a PB, like the croissant or the bread or, or the kitchen, the cooking, everything is made daily, everything is fresh. You have a large staff, a lot of chefs, I noticed. Yes, a lot of chefs, a lot of talent. You know, but to run a house like as you run it every day and to make fresh, think every day you need some people with knowledge. Yes, also, today. you do some private events here with these two beautiful dining rooms, yes, dining areas? Yes, you do some private events if some people want, you know. Sometimes you go to Boston cooking for some people, we in Cape Cod cooking in some houses. Now, we're going to go through the bakery yes. and you're going to explain to the viewers what they can expect here when they come every to day. visit. Yes. Chef Philippe, your beautiful oui. mamea. And your name? Pascaline. 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 Gorgeous okay. name. And you make these wonderful jams Jam. here. 
Yeah, yeah she comes. She comes like see me, and she makes some jam. You know, when she comes, she makes all the time like oh. some different jam. Uh, blueberry. Oh, okay. This one is a blackberry blueberry. Try it, Teresa. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what. Oh my you're God. Making, as you're making a sablé also, you know, like to a die jam. For. Oh. If you want to try that also, it's Teresa, hard, that it's is delicious. A, a little sablé And what is this one? Sablé à l'orange with the jam. Try oh, it. Oh, sablé à l'orange. Sablé à l'orange, you know. Yes. So yeah. you add a little of the jam on there. Really good, Spectacular. no? Spectacular. And this Fresh. is? That is a pain au chocolat. Pain au chocolat. Something Fried. with chocolate. Yeah, every day okay. bake, you know. I'm going to eat everything in the bakery and I'll no, leave like be, this. You could be oh, here no. all day, you know. <laughs> you know. Oh my also God, having, that's like, delicious. Some pain au chocolat, some croissant, you can see. Like, croissant is gorgeous. The croissant. Baked by Chef Remy, and as you're having all the meringue and everything, as you can give you a tour. Meringue is, meringue is spectacular. gluten free. And everything is incredible. And I could eat it all, it's just spectacular. How about I meet you in the kitchen in a few yes. moments yes, and we're going to reveal some more of your French Recipe. secret recipes? Yes, yes. thank okay. you. One is Gobi d'Oyster, and one chocolate mousse by Chef Remy. The pâtisserie chef is going to prepare for you like. A chocolate mousse. Chef Simon is going to prepare this beautiful recipe of oyster and croque monsieur. Simon. Chef yeah. Simon. So, yeah, the croque monsieur us. is one of the best sellers. So, it's going to be easy for everybody to remake it. The yeah. first one is the Wellfleet oyster. The old, same size, all clean. They're from Wellfleet. Tell me what the ingredients are. So, we're going to do, so we need to open the oyster, but after that, we need to make the persi for the oyster to put on the bottom of the, of the oyster. So, we're going to have the spinach. We're going to cook them with the olive oil, a little bit garlic and shallot, okay. and a little bit cream. And after the puree, so we're going to put below the oyster, and on top of the oyster, we're going to make a butter. The butter with chopped persil. Okay. Teresa, we're going to show you how. We chop <laughs> the persil with a little bit butter. You don't have to show me how to chop. We'll see. I just finished my culinary program. Good. <laughs> so after the persil, for the butter, we're going to put some almond powder. Almond powder. Almond, almond, almond powder. powder. Okay. Some persil chop, little bit shallot and garlic again. Okay, wonderful. Now I'm, I'm going to help you, correct? Yeah, you can. If you come to World Fit this summer, you go see Chef Teresa working with us in the kitchen. Oh. I'm going to hire her. So that oysters are loaded with zinc. And Afro we know that they're very, very good for your sex drive. Every good, day. good. We every know day, that, so we all need day. to eat a lot of them, right? Every okay. day I eat 10 oysters with Chef Simon, yeah. you know? But you have to eat them in moderation. Yes. Almonds are like fatty fish. They're high in omega-3 fatty acids. They also are rich in antioxidants, including vitamin E. Antioxidants support the brain cell communication through the neurotransmitters and increase the blood circulation, especially through the vast network of small blood vessels in the brain, allowing you to stay focused, alert, and functioning at your mental peak capacity. So we need to eat almonds every single day. The shallots are great for insomnia. Spinach is loaded with antioxidants, which is great for the brain also. So you really need to try to load up on some spinach. It's a spinach puree like that. Okay. And after at the end, what you do when you have the spinach puree, you take them, I re-put the spinach puree on the bottom. You don't want to have something where it's uh, an oyster well done. So it's but protecting the it's oyster. It's protecting the oyster. And, and you're I protecting think, them from overcooking. Yes, you don't want to have something where it's chewy. You want, you still have one that the nice texture of the oyster and something where it's not well done, you know? Very no? delicate, that's yes. very delicate. It's treat your food as you treat your family, that's right? That's Delicately. It. Now you also have some garlic here. Garlic, really good for the blood. Yeah. Research states garlic lowers blood pressure and blood cholesterol and discourages dangerous blood clotting. Two or three cloves of garlic a day can cut the odds of subsequent heart attack in half in heart patients. Garlic contains multiple anti-cancer comp compounds and antioxidants and tops the National Cancer Institute list as a potential cancer preventative food. It also lessens the chance of stomach cancer and garlic is also very, very good for your sex drive. Have Don't nice. eat it raw though. With the butter, the butter needs to be a little soft, you know. So you soften the butter. Yeah. You know, I don't put that on the recipe, but what is good to put on the butter is when you open your oyster, you have all the juice of the oyster. And the juice for me is like something where the oyster is really flavorful. 
But if I make you try, like, I'm going to put like just a little spoon in the butter. I want you to try that, Teresa, the juice. Just need the juice. Of course. That is really something where they call that the liquor, the liquor of the oyster. It tastes Be like ocean water. Yes. Yeah. And what I do sometimes when I open a lot of oyster, I keep the oyster jus and I make a granite with it. That juice, I think for me, is like really, you see, when you taste it and you close your eyes, you really it's think beautiful. you put like a piece of sea on your mouth. You it's know? beautiful. And Chapsimo is making the butter now. You know what is really, like, is, is nothing difficult to make that butter, but you need to have like the butter soft, some fresh parsley, fresh garlic. Fresh, At the restaurant, and you try to make, and you try to use yes. local also. At the yeah. restaurant, I'm products. using like, the garlic is peeled at the restaurant, shallot as you peel the shallot, as you peel the onion. It's really something for me that is the base of cooking, you know? Jeff, if someone didn't like oysters and they wanted to do a clam this way, they could yes. do a clam this exactly. way. You can, do, way, yeah. you can do clams. The same that, with spinach. That they is could the, use a different green. You know could what they I use say? Like arugula. If yeah, they wanted arugula. To use arugula. Yes. And you go cut like uh, a good chunk. Because I'm going to take the piece of butter. So you put a whole piece like yeah. that? Yeah, a whole yeah, piece. Yeah, because it's going to wow. A whole piece. And, and at the end of the day, when I put my oyster in the oven, I need to make sure the oyster, you don't put them on the plate just like that. Is that too big? It's okay. Thing. But it doesn't have any preserves. Yes. doesn't have any. It's natural. Butter is the best thing for you. Okay. Teresa, she really has a good hand with the knife. You know, I'm really thinking this summer I'm going to give yeah, her a job. We, we need to. Yeah. Yeah. We, need, we need to. We she will. Could, you go come <laughs> more with us this summer. You know, like, you got to find okay. the French people a little bit. All right. Know? If you need my help, if you're real you busy, speak French, for example? Um, very little. Pan de mie, it's French meaning loaf of bread, correct? Oui, voilà. Pan de mie, c'est ça. Pan de mie is, I mean, a beautiful pan de mie making house, you know? That is made at PB, smell it, fresh. It Beautiful. doesn't smell like at a supermarket, like you a chemical bread. Gorgeous bread you... here. For that recipe, it's like two slices, you know? So these are the two ingredients slice. for this? That is the ingredient. Yeah, the ingredient, you need to have pan mi. You need to have like some gruyere cheese. The gruyere, gruyere cheese. cheese from Switzerland. Yeah. And some ham, white okay. ham. Like when I say white ham, it's jambon, you know? Okay. Jambon. And the chef now is like preparing the, the, the Mornay sauce. Someone wanted to use a whole grain bread, they can, but they, yeah, they should really it. use the but white. But it's, it's like the real classic recipe for Croque Monsieur is white pan mi, is the white. cheese, Mornay sauce, bechamel. Other grain products made from 100% whole grain wheat flour can increase blood flow, which helps deliver oxygen to your brain at peak performance. They also help supply the brain with glucose something your brain needs to function properly. Butter, one time your butter is melt as you put the flour inside. And the flour and the butter you call it's is the roux, exactly. Yeah. And the roux after is gonna make that beautiful milk like thick. The sauce, so it thickens. Sauce, understand, Fresh but nutmeg. But smell it. Oh, it's oh. gorgeous, no, it's, it's gorgeous. Like, you know, fresh nutmeg. You can insist, when you do a recipe like that, you need to add, you need to add some fresh, Paper. I'm going to make you add some salt on it. Okay. Teresa, add pinch some salt, salt. Yeah. a pinch of salt. And yeah. now, like, like, I want you to try that already, you know, just like, you can wrap more if you want. Okay, nutmeg. I've never seen nutmeg in a clove like this. Like, you Incredible. Know? And you use fresh. You can so. see, you can see with the, uh, now you go add the yolk. Yeah. The Three yolks. needs to go the very yolk. fast. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to okay. cook the yolk. And, and you make the scrambled egg. egg. And we don't want to do that. Voilà. And the cheese. Voilà, you see that? Already the texture on the... Gorgeous. And this is going on your... This is oh, going to yeah. You're going to be to put that on the bread. Yeah. I'm going to put the cheese right now. Cheese? Yeah. So it's going to melt. Yeah. It's going to melt yeah. on it. There we go. And now she's ready to make it. My ristocin is found in nutmeg and it's been shown to inhibit an enzyme in the brain that contributes to Alzheimer's disease. Nutmeg is used to improve memory in Arab countries, nutmeg is valued as an aphrodisiac, substance believed in increases your sexual drive Wow! in nutmeg. And we know egg yolks are a very good source of protein. The choline, which is a member of the vitamin B tu complex, choline plays a role in the production of neurotransmitters in the brain that helps regulate mood, behavior, and memory. It also helps with alertness and improves cognitive performance. I'm going to take all these home, chef, and eat them wow, every day. Wow, watch out. <laughs> I don't want to be at your house tonight. No. You know? 
I don't want to be at your house. You go jump in. Oh, God. I don't know me. But that she need like It's uh, a natural aphrodisiac. Don't Look try to eat all these things. Don't eat it. This Again, <laughs> talk to your doctor. Oh, you my know? goodness. Now the chef is go making the croque monsieur. It really is delicious. Wow. You see the cheese start to melt on it. It's so creamy. Yeah. Some people And it's light. It. It's not heavy. Yeah. yeah you Some can people taste cream. the nutmeg. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing now. It's really important when you make the croque to put like like same thing about like to put the have the ham everywhere. Like be generous on ham and uh, oh be generous on the ham. Yeah. You're very generous with your product. You need to be generous. Yeah. When I work in France, a chef, he said, to be a chef, you need to be generous. If you are not generous, like us, you need to make people happy and to make sure when people, they come here, they, they eat something where they go remember. You well, know, you know it's what, be chef? A souvenir. People eat with their eyes. If they yes. see something it's that's abundant the and they see something that looks delicious. That's it. You know, you need to make sure when you finish up at the end, fresh it like that. The Becham de Mornay, you know, it's going to be nice and... You want to flatten it all yes, together. Yes, flatten it together, you okay. know. Okay. You go... Well, they put something. so much time into a croque monsieur. Et voilà. <laughs> Et voilà. A croque voilà. monsieur. So that I'm is gonna... a croque monsieur. So you don't cover the top. No, it's because open. it's going to melt. Yeah, it's going to melt. It's going to melt. It's still soft, you know, and the oyster is still beautiful oyster. It's not like oh. a chop-chop thing, you know. Spectacular. You know, check it like the oyster. I want you to touch it like with the fig and see like... The oyster is not like... Oh, it's still dry. very moist. Moist. Very moist, The secret yeah. is that recipe. Okay. And second one, you need to make the recipe, like the way it says, spinach and butter on top. Exactly. So by the time these cool down, we're going to be tasting them with some they of your wonderful wines. Wine. Well, uh, okay. Like the Lingerie Well Fleet Oysters. 12 fresh Well Fleet Oysters, 11 ounces of parsley, 7 ounces of softened butter, 5 ounces of almond powder, four shallots, one cup of chopped spinach, six garlic cloves, salt and pepper. For spinach puree, four pounds of spinach, three cloves of garlic, half a liter of cream, olive oil. Preparation. In a bowl, combine softened butter, almond powder, parsley, shallots, garlic, salt and pepper. Place onto saran wrap and wrap the mixture in a roll. Place the roll in the freezer for three hours. Prepare spinach puree. Sauté spinach with three garlic cloves, olive oil, and half liter of cream. Open your oysters, remove them from the half shell. Add spinach puree. Place oyster on bed of puree. Remove parsley butter from freezer and cut into slices. Place a slice on top of each oyster. Bake at 350 for 10 minutes and enjoy. When here's the croque. Yeah. And the croque monsieur. Well, Simply gorgeous. Look at this. I just want to show you. I'm gonna cut it on the middle like that. You can see what I'm saying, like like the way as you did that with Chef Simon, the croque monsieur. See? Like yeah, I want to, you see like here is a little bit crusty, and here is gonna be a middle like that when you nice go and see, creamy. Like, the croque monsieur. If you come here and you have like kind of aphrodisiac the oyster. today, everything is aphrodisiac. If you come, they are the nutmeg, yeah. the chocolate oyster, is also. And the chocolate. If, yes. If you come yeah. at PB having oyster plus chocolate, I think you're good for having a great night. Ah! You know exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up like Absolutely, we're anyway. going to prep their amazing chocolate dessert. Don't go away. Monray sauce okay. for croque monsieur. 30 grams of unsalted butter, 30 grams all-purpose flour, one half liter of whole milk salt and freshly ground white pepper, freshly grated nutmeg, three egg yolks, 100 grams of finely grated Gruyere cheese. Melt the butter over medium heat. Mix in the flour until smooth. Whisking constantly, add the milk. Season to taste with salt and pepper. Nutmeg and cook on low heat for 10 minutes. Strain. Remove the mixture to the stove over low heat and cook two more minutes. Remove from the heat and while whisking constantly, add the egg yolks. Return to the stove over low heat and mix in the garia cheese. Check the seasoning. Transfer the sauce to a container and cover with parchment paper. Spread on breads when preparing croque monsieur. Another handsome chef, Chef Remy. Remy Fred Frog is the executive patisserie of PB's, doing croissants, doing pain au chocolat, doing meringue, all this beautiful stuff you see today. No? Chef Remy, so you're making today a beautiful chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse, exactly. 
it's, uh, Tell it's us a, the ingredients. Well, it's very simple. It's chocolate, dark chocolate, the 72% uh, chocolate. We have here cream and milk that's going to boil with sugar. Okay. And then whipped cream. So it's a very okay. easy recipe to do at home. Okay. And then here at PB, we, uh, we're sitting up in a glass. So it's more uh, home style kind of feel. You know? Okay, beautiful. So, it's, so why don't you show me one and then I can do, so I can do the rest. All right. So but again, I don't want to be too good because then Chef Rispoli will want to hire me. So for the summer only, <laughs> for two months. For the summer only. Just like this. Just, Just one brush, stroke. One stroke. Melting like I always said. Right here and from the bottom up. Chefs are artists. They are definitely artists. Let's see if we can hire you this summer. <laughs> Water. Good job, Carla. <laughs> Do you have more glasses for you? Like, like because she's go pen like glasses? she's gonna stay here all this summer. <laughs> no worries, she's go pen. <laughs> Come with a brush, you go see like. We're all Michelangelo's, aren't we? Yeah. Hey, Michelangelo! <laughs> Michelangelo is yeah. the name son of Remy. Yeah. Have a little kid oh. called Michelangelo. Let's see. Look at that. We're all a Michelangelo. We all have well, some creativity in us somewhere. Okay, so you're waiting for that to boil, but I want to let the viewers know that. Dark chocolate lovers would be pleased to know that dark chocolate is loaded with antioxidants and it also has a natural stimulant that can help improve concentration and focus. However, not all chocolate will do. You need to buy a good quality dark chocolate that has more than 60% of cocoa. Try to use natural foods. Do not use processed items. I've researched fructose. And I found it in a lot of processed foods. And fructose leads to more eating, and you become overweight. So again, try eating healthier, and you'll lose some weight. Now, Chef, you said how much percent of cocoa is in this chocolate? It's Seventy-two in this one. Seventy-two percent. I mean, it's the same. It's a, it's a melted beautiful, chocolate. Yes. beautiful. So this is one of your best chocolates that you can use when you make a dessert. Yes, it's one of my favorites. May I? That, that's the, of course. I'm scared you're eating oyster, <laughs> chocolate, <laughs> all aphrodisiac food. Take Oysters, Remy chocolate. don't see that, but you eat a lot of nutmeg also. Oh, this Remy, and I nutmeg. Like, oh. I, like main, like. I love dark chocolate. Okay, so I have here cream, heavy mm -hmm. cream and sugar. Okay. And I just pour over the chocolate. So basically, I just stir. Uh, Simple, chocolate. that's yes. it. So that's the first step. Now I'm going to add step. whipped cream. Okay. And you make your own fresh whipped cream here, I'm sure, correct? Everything, everything, everything as you do, anything Remy do, homemade. like homemade. I only make fresh whipped cream now. That's better. Yeah, a fresh, it's, everything's fresh. It's better, fresh. it's not processing and product. It's, it's very know. easy to do. Of course. All you have to do is to make sure that your cream is very cold. Yes. And then whip it in a, you know. To the peaks. And that's it. And then you blend it in here. So. May I help? You want to fold it in, chef? Want to fold it in? Yeah. You put all the cream in once. Then you want me to fold it? Yeah, oh. just like this. Not to mix it, you need to fold it. And then you can finish with the spatula. I always start with the whisk first and finish with the spatula. And then you put this in the glass and it hardens, correct? Yes, in the correct. refrigerator. Yes. What, you, what, what I do also, I add some uh, cocoa nibs, which is a crushed cocoa bean. Cocoa beans. A little bit to reinforce the So flavor. more cocoa. A little bit, it's going to give you some crunch. More good for your sex drive. Yes. <laughs> and your memory. That's the, what the show's about. It's about foods memory. for your memory. So you remember where your spouse is, and then your sex drive works. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Is that good, Jeff? Yes, that's very good. OK. Now we're going to fill the pastry bag. So for the pastry bag, it's And I can do some of these too. Okay, look out, crew.
a garnish. Beautiful little garnish on top there. Look how stunning. Just stunning. So very easy. Thank you, chefs. You Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just beautiful. And we're going to try all of these wonderful dishes we made. We are going to pair them with some beautiful wine, chef, right? Nice. The chefs are not appreciated, I don't think. People say, oh, the food is amazing. The food is amazing. But I just want to know something personal about you. And if you want to share something personal about yourself, tell us something that the viewers would need to know and all your customers would need to know about you, chef. I love to eat. <laughs> I love to eat. Yeah, I eat everything. I don't have any food allergy. I don't have any... And that, I think, is a beauty when you see, like, customers sometimes they have a lot of food allergy. I really enjoy what I do every day. I really enjoy to be with my team and to be to open the house every day. It's like yeah, something where absolutely. it's really exciting for me. You know? All yourself and all of your crew seem to it. have you a passion. You need the whole crew. They have a passion yes. for food. You need to have a passion for food. Yeah, it's and that's like why that. I wear purple. Do you know purple is for passion? No, I don't know that. Yes. There we go. Today I learned a lot with you, <laughs> Teresa, you know? And I learned a lot from you. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Chef Remy, do you want to share something about yourself? No one knows. To paint. You like to paint? I don't have much time to paint, but I love to paint, yeah. Oil paint? Or acrylic paint. Acrylic paints. Yeah. Well, see, now you're an artist. You're a Michelangelo at home. Yeah, my... And you're a Michelangelo so, here. Yes, it's... it's oh. A Bravo. Brilliant. Thank you so much for having Thank us. You. And we're Thank going to you. taste the foods Thank over you, in Teresa. the other area. Dark chocolate mousse. 20 ounces of dark chocolate, 70% cocoa. One quart of heavy whipping cream, one cup of sugar. Boil one cup of cream, pour over the chocolate and sugar mixture. Fold completely. Beat remainder of the heavy whipping cream until it forms peaks. Fold the whipping cream into chocolate mixture. Fold completely. Pour into serving glasses, chill, and garnish. <laughs> Chefs, thank you all so very much for your expertise and creating all these amazing dishes. Chef Raspoli, tell me, what would you suggest with these beautiful oysters? And may I have one? Let's yes, pass them around. Yes, take an oyster and try it. Like the white wine, the white wine you have on your glass is a friend of mine did that, the, the wine in Sonoma. Hillsburg, Clay Morrison is a wine by the by the Tirette. You see the one I showed you before, and that with the oyster is really a nice uh, Chardonnay. You know, I think it's going much well with the food. Thank you, chef. Thank you, Thank chef. You. Yeah. Now tell me something. These are your wines are right out of the spigot. Yes. There's not too many people that have that system yet. You know. Are they organic? They, they're organic. And we're gonna taste next this wonderful chocolate mousse. You know. Chocolate mousse. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good, you know? Salute! <laughs> chocolate, again, one more. Mm. You know? This is to die for. You, yeah, I used to work for the best chef in the world. He's now 28 star Michelin, and uh, I came here to be, you know, to cook, to real, I mean, to make the real food, to cook, to be on the rush every day, every time. Like, and now you're working for the second best chef in the world. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. But chef, you're going to be a I'm chef responsible. Yeah. I try to do every day, it's like everybody's coming to that door. They're happy, they're happy to be with us. And, mm -hmm. and that for me is really the satisfaction. Like, us, you need to have a good staff happy to make people happy, you know? The viewers, please, all the information I provide to you is researched from medical sites. Always check with your doctor first before using any of these products in excess. Thank you for watching Teresa DeRose's Chef Secrets. And if you want these recipes from today's show, please visit PB Boulangerie in South Wellfleet and they will gladly give you a printout of the recipes the week the show is aired. You can also watch past episodes of the show by going to my website, chefs-secrets.com, or suggest a favorite restaurant a product for review by emailing me at td.chefsecrets at gmail.com. You can find my email address and website in the credits below. Remember, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, once said, let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. We'll see you next time when we plan on revealing more chef's secrets.